Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Explore Gadgets. And today I have with me 10 iOS games to get you started with 2018. So without any further ado, let's get this started. First up we have Inside. This game is a dark, morbid platformer. But rather than casting the whole world in silhouette, there is some color this time around. You're a boy escaping from some totalitarian regime, clambering through muddy ponds, stumbling through cornfields, and generally trying to stay alive. The controls here are remarkably simple. You move around just by swiping and holding. And you can also push on the screen when you're near an object and you can interact with it and you'll be able to grab it. All in all, this game has a great story and is a very good play. Next, we have Critical Ops. If you love shooting games, especially Counter-Strike, then you are going to love this one. First of all, the graphics is outstanding for a smartphone game. Secondly, the multiplayer is amazing, where you have a large online community. Finally, the controls are very responsive and well polished. Next up we have Agent A. Agent A is an uber stylish, gorgeous and fun point and click adventure game that does a lot to avoid the clunkiness and frustration that many games in the genre have. You play as a special agent whose mission is to seek out the enemy spy Ruby La Rogue and you'll have to capture her and take her back to the headquarters. The entire game takes place in and out of Ruby's house and the puzzles here are not that extreme and it fits perfectly with the story. Next up, we have Zombie Gunship Revenant AR. This is a thrilling, fast-paced augmented reality shooter. Here, you get to fly a gunship helicopter that is controlled by your movement in augmented reality. And your objective is to defend your base against a horde of zombies. As you play through, you'll get to unlock new powerful weapons and upgrade them as you progress. And all the game is played using a thermal camera effect, which does give the game a unique effect. Next up we have Old Man's Journey. Without a single line of dialogue, Old Man's Journey manages to tell a profound and heartbreaking story of loss, regret and reconnecting with your family while dabbling with some relaxed and clever little puzzle elements. Old Man's Journey most closely resembles a point and click adventure title. You click on the screen where you want your character to move and you can click on the objects to interact with them. Overall this game manages to be a satisfying experience all without saying a single word which is remarkable and definitely worth a look. Next up, we have Space Marshals 2. As you might be able to guess from the title, it's about cowboy policemen in space. And there's some double crossing at the start of the story. Then you're thrown into some amazing levels to find out what happened. And you capture some bounties and generally become an intergalactic cop. You unlock new weapons, hats and armor as you progress through the game. And even the enemies get advanced and will be harder to kill. Overall, it's a great game to play.
Next up, we have PES 2018. The really fun thing in PES 2018 is the wide variety of modes in which you can put your virtual club through its paces, including a campaign, quick single matches, and a rotating series of limited time events. The area where this game really excels is in its presentation. Not only are the graphics crisp and the player animations fluid, but there is full commentary during the matches, and it's more robust than you might expect. Next up, we have Rules of Survival. This is a battle royale genre game where you're on an island, and you're dropped into the game wearing a vest and some trousers. You can enter the game either alone or up to 4 other players, and prepare to enter a match for the survival of the fittest against 120 other players. You can go head on with other players, or just sit back and relax and wait for the masses to finish each other off, with the ultimate goal of being the final player standing. Next up, we have Geostorm. Here, you are in control of a character making your way through a series of levels where you can move one square at a time. And in order to get through them, you'll need to solve puzzles. There are blocks to push, switches to pull, and exits to clear. It's pretty simple stuff, but the game plays really well. The controls are good, and the puzzles sometimes take a bit of thinking. And the levels are just the right size for a mobile play. Next up, we have Stranger Things. Stranger Things the game is an action-adventure game with a little dungeon crawling thrown in. Based on the iconic town of Hawkins, the controls are super simple. Tap to walk and tap to interact. That includes punching, shooting, breaking, and so on. You can also drag your finger across the screen if you've got some distance to cover. This is a great game to play to continue the amazing experience of the series. Well that was it for this video guys, I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming contents on this year. You guys have a great day, this is Saman signing off.